In today's video, I show you the Dungeons and Lasers 6 Caves campaign. But before we get into today's video, just want to share with you what the GGGGs are for this month. Each month, Bob the Beholder picks some of my Patreon supporters to receive gratitude gifts. And for this month of March of 2024, we have three pledges for the War Layer 5.0 Sci Fi Terrain Kickstarter. Three pledges for the 3D printable coins that's going to be launching soon from Unchained Games. Against the Ogre Horde Hero Quest expansion from one of my Patreon supporters, Todd Z. HP markers from James J, another Patreon supporter. $100 going towards a crowdfunding campaign, which my Patreon supporters are currently voting upon. And then finally, one surveyor pledge for this campaign for the Dungeons and Lasers Caves. That is a $99 value. Go ahead and use the link below to go to my Patreon page to find out how you can get in on the possibility of being chosen by Bob for one of these awesome gratitude gifts. So I've done a number of videos for Archon Studios for their Dungeons and Lasers line of plastic terrain. I've always been super impressed with all of the things that they are coming out with. And now the next iteration of their terrain is pre-painted terrain, which is amazing. I think that is sort of the next evolution in 3D terrain is now it has taken out the whole painting aspect. Whereas before all of their pieces thus far has been uh, this gray plastic and so they sent me a couple of samples from their current campaign and I will be going through the campaign uh, later on in this video so go ahead and use the timestamps below if you want to skip ahead but I have painted up a ton of their terrain in the past and have really liked many of their features and with every campaign they have iterated and improved and increased the number of options that we have as gamers. Super happy to find out that they have now a cave system because we were sort of set on these 90 degree walls and now with the cave system we have curved walls and you can create more organic shapes for your campaigns. With this gray plastic that is unpainted they sent me a couple of their sets to show that you can actually glue these wall pieces together to create curved walls and again more organic shapes and pieces and I love the fact that they have these diagonal floor pieces again that just adds to the more organic look that you're going to have from caves with less 90 degree wall angles. Here's a small sampling of the painted version and what's awesome about all of these painted versions that you see here is that it is machine painted almost like one of the old dot matrix printers where these plastic pieces go through and it is uh, spraying on this color onto the pieces as it goes through. So I think that is awesome technology and that this is hopefully going to be more options in the future for pre-painted terrain. But to be 100% honest, terrain is one of the easiest things to paint. It's the miniatures that typically takes a lot of time. So I'm waiting for the day when pre-painted miniatures actually becomes more affordable and more mainstream. That will be a real game changer. But for now, this pre-painted terrain makes it so that you are able to field a full table of terrain in no time flat. Even though you can follow one of my many painting tutorials for the previous sets, that's going to apply, especially with the cave set. I feel like you would be able to get it painted up super quick. But I do admit not to the level or degree that the pre-painted sets that you see here. So the big question that you're going to ask yourself is, is it worth the extra cost, almost double the cost of the just gray plastic in order to get the pre-painted sets? And overall, I would say it is worth it if you are lacking in time or if you're spending all that time painting up the miniatures or you would rather paint up the miniatures and not spend so much time. I do think that the pre-painted sets are very, very impressive. It is more detailed, more different colors than I have painted uh, on previous sets on my own. So that makes it more compelling to get the pre-painted set. So I would say that if you are never going to paint your sets or get around to it, or you have backed previous Kickstarters and said you were gonna paint it but never got around to it, I definitely think that the pre-paints 
are worth it and that you're going to get your money's worth out of it, especially as we compare it to some of the other pre-painted options that we're going to see on the campaign page. So like I said here on this cavern, I typically would have just stuck with three colors, but here there's just a ton of detail. You have different colored rocks. Um, these walls have different colors to them as well. I was a little bit worried that clipping them out would leave a mark, a noticeable mark on top of these uh, walls, but I'm happy to say that you really can't notice them. Even when you use a knife to shave down some of those nubs that you get invariably from clipping them off of a sprue. So overall, very, very impressed with the color variation that's even found in the cave system. And then if you move over here to the Dwarven Mines, super impressed with the amount of color and the amount of even these lights that are spreading out from these uh, lanterns or the torches. So again, doing a better job than I would choose to do. And if you look at some of my previous videos, my color scheme is a little bit easier just so that it can, can be quicker. So overall, really, really impressed with this set here. And then also with the Abomination Vaults, I only got a very small sample here. They also did send me a hand-painted version of it just so that I could compare between the hand-painted and the machine painted. And as you can see from this wall example, um, you can tell only a little bit of a difference, but overall super, super impressed with the color variation that you're getting from the pre-painted machine painted sets. So very impressed. I think you are going to be as well as this variety that you're getting, not only for the caves option, but uh, these previous sets that now are available. This is sort of the time to be able to jump in and get some super cool terrain. And if you're like me, who is more on the cheaper end, I would probably opt for the unpainted terrain and just paint it up super quickly. Uh, again, I don't spend as much time on terrain as I do on my miniatures, but that's one of the options. If you are more uh, flush with time versus cash, I think that's still a great option for you to jump into. And then finally, um, even if you pledge at the basic level, the surveyor level, which is one of the gratitude gifts for this month, the biggest best deal from that is just getting all of the unlocked stretch goals. So that stretch goal pack, I think is worth the price of entry into these Kickstarters. They, at this point, they've raised over a million dollars, so they have a ton of stretch goals, but I love all the little tidbits and things that you can use to dress up dungeons and any RPG that you have. That stretch goal box is amazing as a deal. So even if you're not that interested in some of the terrain, just getting that stretch goals box I think is amazing. So let's go ahead and go over to the computer where we can take a look at the campaign and I can walk you through it. So here's a page, go ahead and use the link below to go to the Game Found campaign for the Dungeons and Lasers 6 Caves. And they do have a video that you can look through. As of filming, they did raise over a million dollars. So there is a ton of unlocked stretch goals that you can see here, which is amazing. It includes miniatures, but mostly a bunch of terrain pieces that you can use to dress up your terrain. And then they do have this little marker here that shows that it does come as a pre-painted option for you. Just a, a quick note that all of the miniatures, none of them come pre-painted. It is just the, some of the terrain pieces. Look how cool this Balrog or Demon is. So this explains to you Prismacast, which is their machine painting that is available. As I showed you before, I do think that it is amazing. So go ahead and take a look at that. Again, all these pieces go through and a machine I think is spraying out all of the colors onto these plastic pieces. This here says that they deliver their projects on time or even sooner. I have found that to be true. And here they're just showing some of the features and the modularity of their system. Now this is what I find super important is the comparison between price, between the major pre-painted, which is their Dungeons and Lasers for $100 is giving you almost 300 square inches of terrain. And then if you look over here, Dwarven Forge, which is the most expensive pre-painted terrain that you can get, and I don't own any other stuff because it's not a good deal. You, for uh, $80, you are getting only 100 square inches, so about a third uh, for almost the same price. So Dwarven Forge, I've always found to be financially a terrible deal. 
And then you have Warlock Tiles from WizKids, which is a little bit better. At $130, it, you're getting 174 square inches. So clearly, the Dungeons and Lasers, you're getting more bang for your buck in terms of the amount of your terrain. Here are the three themes for this campaign, which is the Demonic theme, the Rocky theme, and then the fleshy or belly of the beast gross theme. And here they're just going through uh, some digital shots of the terrain options that you're going to have. Here's a build of one of their core sets. And you are getting all of this 15 sprues, 92 elements with just one of the core sets, which is again amazing. Demonic Caves walking you through this as well. All of the different features and options. And you're just getting so many different pieces. Finally, Belly of the Beast, which is giving you sort of fleshy like outcroppings, super gross, which I think is cool. And there are sub-themes that you can add to your pledge, which are smaller sets, but have specific themes. So for example, this gob goblin layer that you see here is giving you uh, five sprues, but you can integrate it into any of the sets that you want. Here's the spider's nest, which is actually pretty large if you take a look at that. The deep mines as an option, which you're seeing a bunch of crystals there. A combat arena. The chambers of agony, like a torture chamber. A ritual site. Maw of the Abyss, the Evil Eye Hive, the Carnage Track, which looks like a big intestine going down the middle of the way there. And then here are your different pledge options, which Archon Studios typically have a good number of different kinds of pledges so that you can maximize on your different options that are available. So the base pledge here, which is one of the gratitude gifts, is $99 for an unpainted core set. Any one of the core sets. Again, the reason why this is one of the best deals is because you're going to get all of those unlocked stretch goals. Again, well worth the price of entry. If you do want the pre-painted set, which isn't that much more, is $139. So for an additional $40, you are going to get this entire set, uh, which will be pre-painted, which I think is worth it. If I thought about the amount of time that I would need to be able to paint all this up, um, I think paying $40 to have it pre-painted is worth it, and I would go for that option. But again, if you want to save some money, uh, you can paint it yourself, and it wouldn't take very long for you to paint those. Next level is the Miner. Again, having a core set, but you are able to add three sub-themes of your choice to add to it. Pre-painted, that's going to be $229. This is where it would probably push me into the realm of being more worth it for me to paint it. So I would probably opt for the 150 option here and just paint it myself. But again, look, this is an awful lot of terrain. Even for $230, if you want to pre-paint it, that is a lot. Next level up, again, we're increasing by uh, $50 at each level as the Prospector, which is giving you two core sets. So basically doubling up the number of core sets that you're going to have. In addition, you are going to be adding three sub-themes. So the more that you're buying and the higher up in these pledge levels that you're going, you're just being able to save up more money. Pre-painted, $319 for all of this terrain. Next level up is the Dwarven Sapper, which is three core sets, adding another core set to it. Look at how much terrain that is. I mean, that is a massive amount of terrain. And then again, you still add the three sub-themes, all the unlock stretch goals. And the pre-painted is at $400. Now, here's a different option, the Dwarven Warrior. You are getting still two core sets, but instead of three sub-themes, you are getting six of them. So double the number of sub-themes. Pre-painted, that's going to be $415. King of the Mountain, which is the last pledge level, and that is giving you all of this terrain, which is insane. That is three core sets, all of the sub-themes available for you, although you can double up on the ones that you like, especially if you want to. And then all unlock stretch goals. 
pre-painted, that's going to cost you $560, giving you a massive amount of terrain. Here is a summary page of, again, just the different levels as well as how much the pre-painted version is going to cost you. And then here is uh, another visual of all of the different levels. So let's scroll down here and look at all of the stretch goals, which is, again, just crazy, worth the price of admission. Even this Valor, this demon, in and of itself is probably a $50 model. So just, uh, again, such a good deal to be able to jump in just for the stretch goals. You got all of these different pieces. You have these minecart pieces as well. You have traps. Even if you don't go with Dungeons and Lasers actual terrain, being able to use all these bits and pieces, which I've done before, uh, when I'm playing my RPGs, it's just awesome to have the smorgasbord of dungeon uh, furniture and uh, little tidbits that you can add. Here are all of the add-ons. You can buy these individually if you want. This Don the Minotaur is free if you were a previous backer of any of their previous Kickstarters or campaigns. And then here are all of their previous sets that come as a painted option, pre-painted option. And check this out. This was one of their previous campaigns with a bunch of different miniatures. So check that out as well. Here are the close-up close pictures of each of the add-ons that are available. And each of these box sets are different themes. Again, here are the add-ons. I do prefer the half-height walls just so that I can see into the dungeon a little bit more. But their older sets are uh, full-height walls. And all of those also come in pre-painted options too. This Flying Pirates airship looks super awesome. And what's super cool is they have come out with their own 5e setting as well as their bestiary book, which is adaptable to Dungeons and Dragons, which is super cool. And if you're lacking any miniatures for $390, you can get 340 miniatures, which is about a dollar a miniature which I think is a really good deal. Here is the shipping prices, so make sure you keep that in mind. Obviously, if you're gonna get uh, everything to the US, that's gonna be an additional almost $70, so just uh, calculate that as part of your costs. And pretty much they're saying a year from now is when all of the pledges will be shipped. So there you have it. This is a fantastic set. Once again, just really appreciate all the attention to detail that Archon Studios makes and is constantly iterating and responding and advancing technology now that we have these machine painted terrain available for you. So hit the like button and subscribe. Again, use the link below to go to my Patreon page where you might be chosen by Bob the Beholder for the Surveyor Pledge that is currently on GameFound. Happy gaming, we'll see you next time.